Hi friends. Yeah, you must have noticed this kind of lesion in your dog's paw. This is very irritating and very hard to treat. Dog owners run after one from one uh, veterinarian to another veterinarian in search of treatment. But the dog keeps suffering. Let's see today that why this happens what is this disease this is called pododermatitis that is it happens due to adverse food reaction is the number one cause that is when food is uh, more carbohydrate is fed through say rice roti or milk this happens if you switch on to a more proteinous diet this resolves on its own that is the number one cause there are other causes also such as atopic dermatitis the environmental cause or when some foreign body is get stuck suppose you live near a sea shore or some place where the soil remains always uh, wet so if your uh, dog's paw gets wet then what happens that it uh, it is becomes a site for infection of fungus and this paw dermatitis happens there are other causes such as the hypothyroidism if the thyroid level becomes low then this uh, this can be seen as a this uh, poor dermatitis can be seen there are other causes of so demodectic mange demodectic mange means if your dog is suffering from demodectic mange then this uh, porodermatitis or furunculosis or red lesion red hot spot in the paws can be seen these are the other causes and then last but not least the hookworm or if you do not de- deworm your dog for a long time this thing can happen that is also a cause and other causes among other causes the orthopedic reason suppose your dog is suffering from a, some kind of pain in his leg then this can happen so you should deworm your dog regularly and take care take care of your dog now let's see why this happens uh, this uh, what are the predisposing factors suppose your dog is very, very overweight then this paw dermatitis or poro dermatitis can happen if your dog is very bored or nobody to play with him then he may lick your uh, paws and this poro dermatitis can happen other causes the deformity of the legs are also there there are very similar looking diseases also which looks like porodermatitis but there it is not among them there is the demodectic mange if your dog is suffering from demodectic mange then this pod porodermatitis can happen then another uh, happen is that he um, some uh, kind of cancer boy in the pod is in then this can, that cannot look, uh, look like this or uh, in case of uh, uh, some kind of fungal infection is there or some kind of uh, contact dermatitis is there this happen this can look like this and this porodermatitis but it is not porodermatitis porodermatitis is a separate thing so your doctor should be able to diagnose or differentiate between all these two so there this is a number one cause and other causes are here excessive licking also causes the porodermatitis that is paw dermatitis and spontaneous alopecia then the self induced sometimes the disease becomes self induced if the dog becomes suicidal do you know dog becomes suicidal that is uh, if he, nobody plays with him then your dog will become suicidal and this kind of Uh, lesions or wound can crop up in all over his body now let's see how we will you will you manage if your dog is overweight you should reduce the weight of the diet dog through diet that means don't give uh, that will not not uh, that uh, you have to reduce the food item food uh, food but you should reduce the carbohydrate item and increase the protein food okay that is that is the way to uh, the maintain 
the weight of the dog and uh, there are other causes also that is uh, whatever uh, cause is there you have to reduce that cause you have to bear that unless cause is at addressed your dog is not going to be okay so if there is pain in leg then you should give pain pain relieving drugs also and you should clip the the hairs between the two paws because if uh, the uh, hair if uh, if a dog walks on those hairs and hairs get uh, is getting pulled constantly then this kind of uh, interdigital cyst or uh, cyst between their two paws two toes happens so you should always clip the hairs between the two toes that is a uh, very necessary also you can uh, apply some kind of balm or some kind of cream such as positive cream i'll tell you that in a later way here it is what you you will do in, if your dog is suffering from bor- now here this is the cup this is the cup when you hit when you hit you should uh, m- prepare a antifungal solution with a antifungal shampoo you just dissolve antifungal shampoo petex 1 teaspoon full or 2 teaspoon full in this cup with 1 liter of water and to mix it and put your paw uh, dog's paw in the put your dog's paw inside this cup for 10 minutes after 10 minutes you take the paws out and wipe the paw and then what you do is apply a spray a spray called povidonide spray i'll give you a link in the description and do not worry of the product and you can uh, order it online that spray is povidon betadine spray or some kind of a spray after applying this spray you can smear a cream called positive cream i'll give the link in the description of that product also nothing to worry so you see this uh, dog is, has put the, his paws inside this cup and your dog will be very relieved so you do not need to worry these are the dogs you see they are being treated dog is very calm it's not that it's in the picture in reality also when you will do your dog will feel relieved and you will be very grateful that you have treated this this is the shampoo i'll give you the link in the description nothing to worry this is the petex shampoo that is antifungal shampoo and this is the cream positive cream even if your dog is not suffering from the pod dermatitis or podo dermatitis you can apply this cream every night in uh, before going to bed to all the dog's paw it will help it will help the dog to get relieved from any kind of pain now let's come to the antimicrobial therapy that's uh, in uh, Uh, simultaneous to the local treatment that is in the paws you should uh, give some kind of uh, uh, antibiotics such as lixentab or pet pet client pet client is a very good antibiotic and this is the pgs this is the anti itch cream if you apply to the paws or anywhere the itching goes out goes off immediately this is a very good product from pet care and it is recently being lost and very good you should do that and finally in just in some unfortunate cases where the uh, dog the medicine treatment is not enough we treat those cases with surgery that way what do we do we we clip uh, clip out the muscles or the skin of the cyst and then suture it I uh, sutured the two toes together, but uh, we do not encourage this that because it can cause lameness or permanent damage also. So surgery is not recommended, but it can should it be done at the last stage if no other means are found. So that is it. So if you have liked this uh, video, please hit like.
and uh, write your comments and subscribe to my channel thank you